Hello everyone. Imagine cutting down your work from hours to minutes. That's exactly what's possible with Copilot powered by GPT-5. In this video, I will show you 10 simple and practical ways to use Copilot to speed up your work, automate boring tasks, and free up a ton of time for what actually matters. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed. I'm a professor and best-selling online instructor. I've taught over half a million students worldwide. And on the channel, I help you learn Copilot, AI agents, and large language models in a simple, easy, and fun way. Please check out my courses on Udemy. You will learn all about AI and AI agents. Link in the description below. All right, so the first tip that I wanna share with you is let's assume that we open Microsoft Word and that we have this messy data set and we wanted to convert it into a tabular format. What you could do is you can go ahead, you should see here Microsoft Copilot icon enabled. You can just highlight that text, click on Copilot and say, I wanted to convert this into a table. Let's go ahead and run it. Let's wait and see. And what you see right now is an amazing table that is being created by Copilot and that can save you a ton of time. The second tip that I wanna share with you is, let's assume we wanted to automate the report generation process. And let's assume that I got this data and here I got information about facilities, battery recycling facility, we got the annual throughput, we got a lot of details here in a tabular format, and we would like to generate a report out of this. What we could do is we can first include a template. So this is the template. And here you basically structure your report, such as let's say I wanted to summarize financial summary, valuation summary, I wanted to include as well action items recommended by Copilot. So what I could do is I can go ahead and include this prompt here. And this prompt is your investment associate at let's say a private equity firm. And you wanted to generate a report. I'm giving clear instruction to Copilot. I want you to use that input, generate a report or a summary report. I'm going to include here the actual data. I'm also going to attach as well the recycling template and also the header description as well of all the different columns. And the output is gonna be a final acquisition report. So let's go ahead and test it out. So what I could do is I can go back and I can open Microsoft Copilot. And all I need to do really is to paste that prompt in here and also upload the document as well. So let me show you. So here I pasted the prompt and you just click upload and you just go ahead and upload all the Excel files here. So you can just go ahead and select that. So I'm gonna click on upload button. And here I included the Excel sheet. I also included the header descriptions as well and also the template of that report. You just click open. Now you uploaded all the three files. You included the prompt, you just click run. And what you get out of this is a detailed report in your template format. And that would be amazing because that can streamline the entire process of report generation for you. And here we go. Now you should see Copilot generated a nice report. It extracted all the numbers from our Excel sheet. It included the valuation summary, operational metrics, and it also included actionable recommendations as well, based on the context of the numbers included in our data. All right. So the next tip is let's assume that I would like to search my files, my emails for specific information. What you could do is you can go ahead, enable the search here, and you can go ahead and ask a question. For example, someone named Max sent me an email before. So I'm gonna ask Microsoft Copilot, what did Max ask me to do? And now Microsoft Copilot is going to look up all the data sets that you have, all the information available on your SharePoint, on your OneDrive, and it's going to try to find the answer here for you. And this could save you a ton of time as well, trying to find information, and here we go. So now it was able to tell you that this was the action item that Max asked you to do. And it's also giving you a reference as well to where that file is, and it's telling you that's in my inbox, and this is the email basically that Max sent me before. All right, next, let's assume that I opened Microsoft Outlook and I got here kind of a really badly written email and I would like to get coached by Microsoft Copilot. Well, what you could do, you can go ahead here, if you click on Copilot, you should see the option to get coached or to draft an email from scratch. If you go ahead and click on coaching, what Copilot is going to do is going to analyze your email and it's going to see that this email is poorly written 
and it's gonna give you recommendation here when it comes to the tone. It's telling you that you should consider softening the informal language, it's telling you as well the reader sentiment and the clarity as well. And if you're happy with it, you can just go ahead and say, please go ahead and fix it for me. So you can say, apply all the suggestions and then Microsoft Copilot's gonna take that badly written email. It's gonna generate a much nicer email here for you. And if you're happy with it, you can just say, please go ahead, replace. And here we go. Now you got a much better written email. Next, let's assume that I would like to create a presentation in Microsoft PowerPoint, but I wanted to create it from another PDF file. So here I got Microsoft PowerPoint open, and let's assume also that I have a template. So you can go ahead, you can select file, and you can select a template. Let's select this one, for example. You go ahead and click Create, and you can enable Microsoft Copilot. And instead of just creating a generic presentation, now I can create a presentation from a file. So now I can say create a presentation about, you can go ahead and click on that. And now I can reference files available either on SharePoint or on OneDrive. So now I can say create a presentation about, if you do slash, then you should reference all the files that you got here. And let's assume, for example, that I have a file for Walmart 10K document. So now I'm referencing that and I'm going to say create a PowerPoint presentation from this file. You go ahead and click run and what Microsoft Copilot is going to do, it's going to read the content of that entire large document. It's a massive PDF file and now it's going to extract that information for us. So it's able to extract all that content and you should be able to generate PowerPoint presentation out of this. So it's extracting all the slides. You can go ahead and edit the structure of the presentation as well if you want. And now you click generate and that is going to generate the slides here for you. If you're happy with it, you can click on generate new presentation. And now PowerPoint slides and text will be created as well here for you, including also the speaking notes on the bottom and images as well. How incredible is this? PowerPoint slides are being created. It's gonna take a few minutes, I would say, to run but you should be able to see the slides here. And if you scroll down, these are all the slides that we agreed on as an outline. And all the images as well will be created right now on the spot using AI. So here we go. We got a presentation included as well in our template. Now you can go ahead and view the presentation and you should be able to go ahead and perform a quick sanity check to compare the numbers that you got here compared to the PDF file that you had before. Next, let's assume that I've got this data available in Excel. And here I got the university admission data sets. We got the GRE score for students. I got the university rating, statement of purpose. I got the GPA. And I also got here the chances of admission. And what I wanted to do is I would like to ask Microsoft Copilot to use the analyst agent to analyze that data and perform data analysis for us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, click that plus sign here. I'm gonna add content and I'm going to upload this Excel sheet and all you need to do is to click the university admission. And now, instead of just writing a regular prompt, what you could do is you can click on the at and now you can talk to these agents. And now I've got an analyst agent that can perform complex data analysis for you. And now, instead of chatting with the regular copilot, now you're chatting or talking to the analyst agent. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and ask it, please, I want you to hear to uh, you have a university admission data sets and I want you to create 10 different data visualizations for us. Go ahead and click run. And now the analyst agent is running behind the scenes and you should see amazing data visualizations. The analyst agent is going to come up with a plan. It's gonna examine the data sets. It's going to check the data set column. It's going to generate Python code and execute it as well here. It's going to plan the visualization because I ask it to generate 10 data visualizations. And let's wait and see. And you should see amazing 10 visuals. I tested out before and I'm kind of mind blown because this agent, if it makes mistakes, it can go back, adjust the code and go back and forth. And now you have an analyst AI agent at your disposal running in Copilot. And look at this amazing 10 charts that have been generated. Here you should see the GRE score and you should see a histogram of that. And you should scroll down, should be able to see a nice box plot here and also a nice scatter plot as well. And if you keep going, it's pretty amazing. And all of that with the power of the analyst AI agent. 
So look at these amazing visuals that have been generated using the Analyst AI agent. You should see nice histograms here. We got nice box plots. We got scatter chart as well. And if you keep going, you should see a pie chart too and a nice correlation heat map showing all the correlations between features. And finally here, I got a scatter matrix as well. And also file, finally here, we got a violin plot too. How incredible is this? Next, let's assume that I would like to conduct research. This could be literature reviews, could be research on a competitor, for example. Now you can leverage Deep Researcher Agent to perform deep research on your behalf. So for example, let's assume that I'm looking for independent coffee shops in the US and Canada. Here I'm giving the agent clear instructions. I want you to identify the five coming kind of coffee shops and their innovations, signs of financial stability, and I'm asking it for the output report to be to include the name of all the companies, quick description, key innovations, and market positioning as well. So now I can go ahead, I can copy this, and I can come back to Microsoft Copilot. I can paste that. And instead of using just a regular search, now I can click on at and just enable the researcher agent instead. So now if I can go back to Microsoft Copilot, I can just go ahead, click the at, and now I can talk to the researcher agent instead. And all I need to do is to just paste here the prompt and click run. And what the agent is going to do is going to create its own tasks. It's going to search the internet. It's going to go back. It's going to reason. And it's going to come back with a final detailed report that will blow your mind away. So what you see here is the researcher agent came back with a follow up questions. It's asking me, are there specific regions in the US or Canada? I'm just going to say no. I'm just going to say flexible. Do you have any particular criteria? I'm going to say no. And if there are any specific format, I'm going to say, for example, put in five pages. And let's go ahead and click run. And the researcher agent right now is going to start the researching process. And please note that this might take around 10 minutes for it to run. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back when the researcher agent is done. And now you should see the agent started or begin this research and it's looking for <clears throat> exploring emerging coffee chains. It's looking for identifying regional chains. And these are all the tasks that the agent is doing and that can save you hours of research. And look at this amazing report that has been generated using the researcher AI agent in Copilot. So here you should see all the tech and tend trend driven treats, all the information about the five kind of coffee shops that we selected and including here a detailed report. And you should also see citations as well. Where did it obtain all these numbers? And this, I would say, could have taken humans maybe like a day or two at least to do. And now with artificial intelligence, you can do that in less than five minutes. All right, next, now we are back in Excel. And let's assume that I would like to build machine learning models inside of Excel and also generate and execute Python code. What you could do is you can go ahead on the right hand side, you can of course enable Microsoft Copilot and you can go ahead and just say, I would like to start the advanced analysis tool in Python. And if you press enter, what's going to happen is now a tool that will be enabled for you. And now we'll be able to generate Python code and execute it directly inside of Excel to do data analysis for you. And here we go. So I'm going to say, sure, go ahead and start that out. And now the data will be read and placed in what we call it pandas data frame. If you're not familiar with pandas data frames, don't worry about it. All you need to do here is to just say, I would like to train machine learning models. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, I would like to train a machine learning regression model to predict the salary information. If you go ahead and click run, and please note that you can also enable here the advanced reasoning ability. If you'd like to get more advanced reasoning, think of it as an enhanced artificial intelligence model running behind the scenes. And here we go. Now you should be able to see that two machine learning models have been trained, a linear regression and the random forest. And you should see as well, the accuracy here is quite high, almost at 91 R squared or coefficient of determination. Next, let's assume that I have a large PDF document and I would like to summarize the entire document in one pager and include that summary in Word. To do that, I'm going to open Microsoft Word and you should see Copilot here activated. All I need to do is I'm going to say summarize this 10K document into one page and I'm going to go ahead and reference a PDF file 
that is available here for me on my SharePoint. You can also include it there as OneDrive as well. And what you see right now is Microsoft Copilot is basically reading through hundreds of pages and it's going to understand the context and it's going to come up with this amazing report, super powerful, and that can save you a ton of time. Next, let's assume that I would like to build my own custom artificial intelligence agent directly in Copilot. It's pretty straightforward. You go ahead and you click on create agent and now you can just describe what the agent does. So let's assume that I'm going to create an onboarding agent here for my company. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to describe what the agent does. You are Stemplicity's AI onboarding assistant and you wanted to help new employees just with their kind of finding information about the vacation policy and so on. So you can go ahead and just click on run and you can click on configure and now you should see the agent being created right now for you. So you can give the agent a name, you can give it a description, you can give it clear instructions as well. What you could do as well is you can also embed knowledge into it. So this agent, now I can call it, for example, onboarding, onboarding AI, and you can go ahead and also upload documents as part of its knowledge base. So I'm gonna go ahead, click upload from device, and now I'm going to upload these three documents here. These documents includes information about the company, like how many vacation days, policy, and so on. You can also enable code interpreter here. So now the agent will be able to write and execute code. You can also give it creative abilities. So you can say, well, I wanna create or enable an image generation ability to the agent. Everything looks great. You can just go ahead and click create. And now your agent is being created. Now I can go ahead and prompt it and talk to it. So let me show you. So it's gonna take some time for it to run. Click go to agent and now you have an onboarding AI assistant. Of course, here you should show the created by who. And now I can go ahead and ask it, well, how many vacation days am I allowed? Instead of talking to the general co-pilot, now you're grounding the results to your documents that you included in the knowledge base. And here we go. Now you should see the vacation leave here is 20 days per year. And it's also showing you as well here kind of that these results are grounded in the documents and I can confirm that this information and these numbers are correct. That's it, that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like the video and subscribe for more content. I've got a lot of AI tutorials and deep dives coming your way. And don't forget to join our AI community where you can get the prompts, slides, and connect with others building the future of AI. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.